Hi everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and take a quick look at this Samsung portable SSD drive. This is the T7 Touch. So if you don't know what this is, this is a portable SSD drive with a fingerprint reader or fingerprint sensor on there to unlock the drive. So basically if you have important or sensitive information or you just don't want people to be able to swat, snag your external drive and use it, is locked by, via a fingerprint. So kind of cool. We'll take a look at it. I've never used one of these before and I'll have to kind of see how it works in practice. Um, but what I'm gonna do today and this part of the video is just do an unboxing, take a look at what you get in the box, go over a little bit of the specs, and then I'll follow up on the computer with my thoughts after using it for a little bit and setting up the fingerprint and all of that and, and just to see how it works. So this won't be too long of a video, I don't think, but we'll just kind of jump into it. So I already broke the seal on this plastic. I have not opened it yet. Uh, and this is the one terabyte version, and you can get up to... 1,050 megabytes a second read speed, 1,000 megabytes a second write speed, and it supports USB 3.2 Gen 2, which is 10 gigabytes a second. It has a LED light on there, slim, lightweight metal body, and then the security aspects of it. So you have optional data protection with software, uh, password and fingerprint recognition, and it supports AES 256-bit hardware encryption. So again, it's one of those things if you want to really protect your protect your information, protect your data. You can do that with this drive. So uh, pull this out inside box, Samsung. And then you have the Samsung drive right there. And this is really kind of the about the size of like a credit card or business card. Uh, the device itself, it's a anodized aluminum. This is the black, I think they have a silver as well. USB-C connection right there on the end. And you know, it gets fingerprints all over it. Samsung Portable SSD T T7 Touch. Some information on the bottom. And that's it. And that's this is not a button that you can press. It's just the fingerprint sensor with the LED light around it. So see how that works. And then in the rest of the box here, you have your typical booklet information, quick start guide. Talks how to set it up, how to connect, and this should work for, it says on here, Windows, Mac, and Android. So I guess you can use it with phones, not iPhone apparently, but Windows, Mac, and Android. And then it comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable. So it comes with that, and then it comes with a USB-C to C cable. And that's it. So basically you get two cables, and uh, the uh, the drive itself. And honestly, the drives, these SSD drives are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. You know, this is a terabyte, super small, slim, can stick it in your pocket if you want, take it with you, easily fit in anything really. And the fact that it's uh, secured on a hardware level on the, on the actual SSD drive is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do here is, like I said, I'll jump over the computer after I set this up and give you my thoughts and how it actually works, and I'll finish the review over there. So let's jump over the computer and finish it up. Hey everybody, so I plugged in the portable SSD, so the Samsung T7 Touch, and then once you mount it to your computer, in this case I'm using a Windows machine, you just go to the drive and then run uh, the, there's an EXE there um, for the pan, uh, Samsung portable SSD software, right? So this is what happens when it uh, starts up. So it says Samsung T7 Touch. You can rename it if you want. And then there's different security modes, right? So you can have security mode off, which would be just like a normal SSD drive. You know, you plug it in. You'd have security with a password, which would be just a type A password, right? So you can secure it with a password. And then you have security with a password and a fingerprint. So what I'm gonna do is just do the uh, setup of security with password and fingerprint, just to see how this works. So confirm your new password. Please be aware that you will not be able to unlock your portable SSD or adjust the security options if you forget your password. So this is basically saying, don't forget your password. <laughs> so we're just gonna make this um, something I can remember. 
<clears throat> not too long, not too complicated, but so we'll just set that up. So password is there. And now I will scan my fingerprint. So you can't see this, but the drive is plugged into my computer. So I'm going to reach over and kind of scan my fingerprint and see what it does here on the screen. So as you can see here, this is very similar to training your fingerprint on other devices, right? It just uh, asks you to kind of lift your fingerprint, tap the sensor on the hard drive a couple times until you get to 100%. So I just added two fingerprints just so, just in case. So we can do that. And then basically security mode is enabled and it's unlocked. So if we go to settings, you can change the name, the password, and you can change all of that. Let's see what the update says. Current software is up to date. So this, I just jump jump to the drive, right? So, and this is what I had mentioned before. There's uh, uh, information for Android, and then you the setup packages for Mac and Windows. I guess that's it. So I'm kind of curious, curious what happens if I quit this and I'm going to unplug the SSD and then plug it back in. Okay, so when I unplugged it and plugged it back in, then immediately the Samsung portable SSD software pops up and then it wants me to scan the fingerprint or enter the password. So I'm assuming it's, I guess it's either or. Yeah. So I just scanned my fingerprint and unlocked it. So, so basically that's the deal. So you can set it up to just use a password or you can set it up to do the password and or, I guess it's not even and or, it's you, you set it up for both and then you can use either to unlock. So I hope this helped a little bit. Um, I think that is interesting to see. So what I'm going to do here now is just do this crystal disk mark, which is a utility on Windows that you can use to test the speed of a hard drive. And I am just going to go and start this now and see what happens. Now usually this locks up when it, when it, uh, is doing this and you don't see the results till the end. So I'm just kind of let it, let it go through here and do its thing. So as you can see, this got not the greatest speeds if you look at what they advertised as the speeds, right? So they said a thousand megabytes a second, and this is getting about 450, 380, 114, and 15 as it kind of goes through the different test cycles. And that's with writing a, a gigabyte file, I believe. By default so um, so I mean it's still pretty quick I guess this is over USB uh, 3 connection so it's it's probably about as good as it's gonna be uh, on at least my computer here so anyways I just wanted to do that really quick if you have any questions go ahead and post those below I'll link to this in the description uh, consider subscribing to the channel giving this a thumbs up this is Andrew from TS for Tech thanks for watching and I'll see you next time